welcome to third grade, chapter four, lesson seven. We're going to go and get started. So I'm going to give you guys a little trick um, in order to help you out with this. So it wants to know if the product is even or odd. Okay. So if even one of the numbers is an even number, it's going to be even every single time. Okay. So there's a four. That's an even number. Even. There's an eight. That's an even number even okay there's a two that's an even number even now nine and nine those are both odd numbers that's going to be odd five and seven those are both odd numbers it's going to be odd there's an even number here even super easy guys okay all right use the multiplication table to describe the pattern you see so in the five column you're going to see zero five zero five zero five so um the numbers end in zeros or fives okay super easy y'all okay in the row for ten you'll notice that all of the numbers end in zero okay all numbers end in zero okay you guys do rows for three and six look down those numbers and see what the pattern is okay okay we're going to go down to number 11. it's going to be carl shades a row in the multiplication table the products in the row are all even numbers the one digit in the product repeat zero four eight two six what row does carl shade okay so let's go from zero to four can't be anything under four so zero four eight two six looks like he went down the fours column okay Jenna says that no row or column contains product with only odd numbers. Do you agree? Explain. So let's find odd numbers. One. Well, there's a two. That's not going to be odd. Three. There's a six. That's not going to be odd. Five. There's ten. That's not odd. Seven. Fourteen is not odd. And nine. Eighteen is not odd. So. She is correct. So Jenna is correct. Because when you multiply by an even number, you get an even number. Just like what I was saying up top in the very top ones, if there's an even number, the answer is going to be even. Okay? Doesn't matter if it's both numbers, all you need is one even number and the answer is going to be even. Okay? So, Jonah's correct because when you multiply by an even number, you're going to get an even number. Okay? All right. So, we're going to go over into the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check, just like always, and we're going to go down into the spiral review. Okay, it says Lexi has two cans of tennis balls. There are three tennis balls in each can. She buys two more cans. How many tennis balls does she have now? So she has, I'm going to ignore the two cans. No, I'm not. She has two cans. She bought two more cans. So that's four cans that she has. There's three in each one. That would be. 12 tennis balls. Okay. You absolutely could have done the two cans add or with two more cans, multiplied it by three. You absolutely can do that if you want to. I just did the two and two and got four. So that's all that is. Okay. All right. Use the picture graph. How many students have green eyes? Well, each one of those circles is worth four students. So it's going to be four times however many dots there are here. 
there's four dots. Well, four times four is 16. So 16 students. Okay. Sasha bought three boxes of pencils. If each box had six pencils, how many pencils did Sasha buy? Well, three boxes with six pencils in each one, that's 18 pencils. And find the sum. So all we're doing is adding, guys. Nine plus three is 12. We're gonna carry the one. One plus one is two, plus six is eight. Two plus seven is nine, 982. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 4.7. Come on back for 4.8. See you soon.